How's it going everybody? It's Pat over here at Red Hook Adventures and the purpose of this video is I'm going to show you my striper setup when I'm out here drifting uh, in the California Delta for stripers. Uh, you know this method is effective uh, in a bunch of different ways depending on where you're at. Uh, if you're in a boat and you're generally looking and trying to target stripers, I highly recommend this setup. So everyone's seen my last video where uh, we had the we had this loop knot here with this lock swivel. So we all know about this already. So why don't you go out, go get you a tri swivel, okay? Use a tri swivel. Go ahead and make your leader, okay? Get go ahead and get the locks swivel. Let's apply this tri leader on. The do is I'm gonna get a red hook and I'm gonna put it on to the leader. Very important that when you tie this knot. You tie this. You want that loop there. You want this to slide around, okay, with your live bait. Okay, so now, uh, your your weight, okay, you're gonna wanna put it on a, on a leader about this big here. Okay, so now what we got here is we have, when you're drifting, you have your weight down here like this, kinda just like drifting in the water, with the current and you have your live bait swimming around here like this okay now this same technique here remember we have the weight hanging down here like this kind of like a down rigging method and then you have your line kind of just drifting around backwards like this okay now remember when you're trying to troll deep you can do the same things if you're trying to apply a lure a rattle trap whatever you're trying to target you can go ahead and you can do the same thing with this. Go ahead, tie a knot on this little bad boy here, okay? Sacrificing line for the sake of this video, but we all know we wanna keep this leader around four feet. All right, so now, look, so you have this here, you have this here, you're drifting around. Oh no, here comes a monster striper, blam! All day, all right. Okay, in this second video, what I'm gonna introduce you guys to today, basically, is how to thread uh, some frozen bait onto your line to, to keep that bait on there just a little bit longer especially when you're out there getting attacked by the little guys so let's go ahead and uh, detach the clip from the previous video and we'll go ahead and one second add a little weight or add whatever desired weight that you dis, uh, desire to use while you're you're fishing so we got the weight, we have the swivel okay now, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna get some frozen bait. I'm gonna make this leader whatever uh, desired uh, length that you choose, whatever you feel for that day, depending on, on the depth of wherever you're fishing, is, is, is whatever your leader should be. I tried to make the end loop a lot bigger on this one because you're actually, uh, you know, uh, you're gonna put it on here so we're gonna get this bait threader. This is a bait threader. You could buy this at any, any store, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this here right through the bo bottom, kind of like through the middle of your fish, just like so, okay? Now I'm gonna get this right here. I'm gonna attach it to the end just like so, okay? And it's real easy when you get your hook, you put it on something, you can run it down. Voila, just like that, release. Put that down somewhere safely so no one gets hurt. Now you have your, your bait, like so. Drop it down just a little bit, voila, you're ready to go. Tie on a little bit of string and you're good to go for these stripers out here in the California Delta. I'm Pat the Barter Dude, fishing with Red Hook Adventures. Have a good night.